What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are going to be doing the Derby de Madrid player review. So we're going to be doing Atletico and Real Madrid. There's four players from each team. You've got Courtois, Vinny Jr., David Alaba and Camavinga from Real Madrid. And then you have Marcus Llorente, Griezmann. We also have Morata and Molina from Atletico. So it's four players each. We are going to be splitting this video because these players, yeah, they're very kind of, I would say, unique Obviously, the standard versions track up quite well as well, but you can train these players in a, in a multitude of ways. And I think we're going to do it that we'll do the Real Madrid pack first, and then we'll do the four of these boys and split it into two videos. Because I know there's going to be a lot of questions about these players, especially with the way that you can train them up. Now, we don't have a massive amount of levels to go um, with each player. We've only got 19 levels, but we will go over to eFootballDB. Um, the player levels are still need to be updated on that because it's it's obviously late here when I'm doing it and the live update has just gone live. Um, but yeah, we will start with Courtois and then we'll work our way through and I will show you recommended training builds for two different builds per player apart from Courtois because Courtois is fairly easy to train up. Um, you know, the only things you should be really focusing on with a goalkeeper, especially if you are new to the game. I know it's sometimes get um, easily get distracted with, you know, goalies that have a really high overall. But genuinely, all you need to focus on for a goalkeeper are if he has long throw and low punt. High punt doesn't really work unless you're using, you know, a team and using a target man, which to be honest with you, it doesn't really support that. The game doesn't really focus on target men um, like it did in V1.0 where you could play that, you know, with collar in the middle or somebody like Lewandowski in the middle that you could pump balls into. That's been kind of nerfed, I would say. Um, but long throw is very, very effective. It's way more accurate than kickouts. So that's what you'll be using a lot of the time. He also has unwavering form. He is on C rating this week, but that's not a big issue. And the big thing about him is his uh, goalkeeper stats, right? So he has a base stat line of 80, 82, 80, and 80, and then 79 for goalkeeper awareness. So everything's in the 80s, and goalkeeper awareness is one off 80. So when we are training him up, very, very simple, all that we're doing. We have 19 levels here, obviously, but lock the card it just needs to be updated. But we've 19 levels here. We've got two into aerial strength just to give his jumping a boost, even though he's a giant in goals and he doesn't really need a jumping boost. We're just using up the stats that way. Um, you could pump it in also to goalkeeper two uh, stats, but that, you know, it, it's only going to give you one extra into clearing and reach and you don't really need it. I mean, it depends. You could either do that or jump. We could go with that. Um, so we're going to go eight into goalkeeper one, five into goalkeeper two, and then 10 into goalkeeper three stats. So that'll give us 87, 90, 87, 90 and 85 with 71 as our jump so it's not a bad card obviously i still rate donnarumma a little bit ahead of courtois but this is a very decent card if you are looking to jump in and you pack him and you get him and you want a defender type goalkeeper that is very 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 solid in the goals and is able to do long throw and i think that's the only way that you could possibly train him i mean goalkeeper reflexes is the main stat in my opinion it's the main stat if you're struggling with your goalkeeper he's making mistakes have a look at his stats see if your goalkeeper reflexes is over 90 anything over 90 is big you know 90 plus is big so that is where i would go with that for just you know a very basic kind of understanding of the goalkeepers right so we're moving on and we have next up got I think we're going to go with Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. goes to 95 overall, but the way that we train him up is going to be slightly different, right? So he's also got unwavering form. He's got a bag of player skills, such as double touch. He's got also got shooting skills, acrobatic finishing, rising shot. He's got heel trick and double touch, which are two of the best trick moves and skill moves to pull off. He also has true passing. So it is kind of a fairly, I won't say like a unique card because his standard card is very, very similar to this um, as well. And all the cards are kind of fairly similar of Vinny Jr. and most of the cards in this. But what I do like about this guy compared to most is that there's just a, a couple of different ways that you can train him up because of his um, his skills and stats. You've got the true passing so you can get away with not having as high stats if you want an outright winger. And if you want somebody that's going to just be kind of more all-rounder that you can play <coughs> left mid and pushing on forward so that he can get back a little bit more defensively because of his speed and manually defend with him, then we can do that as well. So the first build we have of him over here on eFootball DB at 20 levels is going to be, whoop, sorry, is going to be this kind of outright winger, right? So we're just going to focus on dribble and dexterity and lower body strength. 
we pump one into passing, nine into dribbling, 10 into dexterity, and then we're going to pump four into lower body strength. That's going to give us 89 speed, 83 balance, 95 acceleration, 85 offensive awareness, and then ball control and dribbling in the 90s, tie possession 87. Tie possession, possession is a very, very important stat. Now, if you're just starting off the game, it's an extremely important stat. If you are playing the game, also stamina is a big issue now in V2.4. I don't know. I think they'll adjust it a little bit because I've seen players with like 80 stamina. Even though you only get 80 stamina with this um, build of Vinny Jr., it should be enough, but you are gonna make you are gonna have to make substitutions no matter what because of the way the game is gone. I mean, I have players that have like 72, 73 stamina in some of my squads, and they're dead by like the 60th minute, depending on how you play with them and run with them. Um, so I quite like that. It's just a bit more realistic, but maybe just tweak it maybe five, ten more percent so that you can stay on till 70 minutes, you know, um, depending on how much run they're doing. So that's the first build we have of Vinny Jr. It's a dribble centric, you know, complete out in the wing using skills, tricks, you know, overlaps and all that. Not really shooting, not really um, passing, just kind of more like, you know, doing what it says on the tin of an actual dribbler's role, right? Spreading the pitch, spreading space, cutting in, passing across the box, keeping everything very, very, very simple and beating players for pace and power. Next up, we've got kind of a left midfielder, kind of more of an all-rounder. So it's it's kind of a similar card. We obviously hold back on the dexterity, so we don't get 95 acceleration. And we have our balance under 80 at 78. But we still get 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 dribbling, 87 ball control, which is very, very good still. And then also on top of that, we have 80 finishing, which we're going to be cutting in and taking shots. And that's kind of what you need to do with these type of players. If you are playing a player that is not rocket, rocket fast, or you want to play him that's not just going to be an outright winger, and you don't play that style, you don't play possession or out wide, you don't use traditional wingers to take on players with skills and, you know, like little deft touch dribbling, then you do need to have a more of an all-rounder uh, on the left side or right side if you are playing out wide positions you know especially if you play quick counter there's no point because the player just completely gets bypassed so next up we do have David Alba one of the best players in the game I would say from way back in eFootball 2022 we've got two versions of him as well this version of him when you take a look at his player skills here, all these have been updated on eFootball DB, so they are all accurate as far as I know, and the AI player styles are accurate as well. We've got lovely player skills here that you can play them in a multitude of positions. You've got all the passing stats that you could want, but we've also got interception, slide and tackle, and pinpoint crossing, which is going to suit us if we are playing either center back, which is what his role is here, or else we're going to play him on the left back position if we are going to be playing him on the left back position then that is something that we need to train up very differently so i'm going to train up a you know defensive monster center back monster in the middle of the pitch train him up as best as we can train him uh, in this version here that you see so we've got 19 levels we're just going to pump 12 into defending we're going to get 97 defensive awareness 87 tackling but what we're mainly focused on is getting that aggression up past 85 which is what we achieve here with 12 points into defense then we're also just going to pump in four into dexterity and lower body and three into aerial strength you don't really need the aerial strength if you don't want to um i mean you could pump that up in you know another one into dexterity it depends how you defend if you are defending manually you can pump that into dexterity to have that extra little bit of breakage uh with the acceleration the explosiveness there if you want to and then the second build of him is going to be um a 90 overall player but don't worry about that i mean overall doesn't really mean anything when you look at this guy's stats so we've got a little bit more stamina we've got a little bit more speed and acceleration we also have better ball control and stuff like that our defensive awareness is still 89 um our tackling and aggression is under 80 which means you will need to manually defend a little bit but this is more of a player that if you are going to be using him as a dmf or you are going to be using him as somebody that you that can just break up the play or an excellent left back that has got brilliant defense of capabilities but also has got this the, the pace and the power to be able to compete with the trickiest wingers on the wing now i wouldn't put him as a left back i definitely think this is the best version of him and i would probably slightly tweak that a little bit depending on your play style you know you could take the defending down maybe two to get your defensive awareness 95 obviously that should be more than enough and then for me i would probably pump up his speed a little bit just to get that up to 80 i mean if you have that you can defend manually and the game will also um the AI will also defend for you with his play style 
because of his stats there of 95 defensive awareness. So that's how I would probably do it. And then last but not least, we have Kamavinga, who is a monster. So you can train him up in two different ways as well. We've got a 91 rated version and a 92 rated version. So the 91 rated version is more of a defensive beast. We've got him in the middle of the pitch, just breaking up play. He's got all the player skills that you could want, and as well as the passing skills, one-touch pass, like David Alba, he has got one-touch pass as well, which is very, very, very nice for a player that's going to be in the middle of the pitch. We've also got interception and sliding tackle, and the thing I like about Kamavinga is even he, he does only have a standard form, but he's always seems to be up. Anytime I play him, he seems to be up, and he's one of my mainstays in my Xbox profile, and this card looks very, very very nice i must say so speed 75 acceleration 80 stamina 80 and then he's got all his dribbling and passing skills in the 80s as well as all his defensive skills so that's kind of like an all-round orchestrator playing exactly to his role and then on top of that obviously with the defensive capabilities that he has that's going to be a bit of a monster in the middle of the pitch that you're still going to be able to pass and break up the play but you're going to be trying to get the ball back as often as you can with this guy and being kind of like a Patrick Vieira type player with the defense. Next up, we've got him as a version of him that's going to be more creative. So you've got 86 ball control, you've got mid 80s or low 80s for the rest of his skills, and then we pair back everything on the defendant. So we only get that tackling up to 80, defensive engagement up to 80, and then the rest is pumped into passing and dexterity and lower body strength with dribbling. So we're pumping eight into each of them, nine into lower body, and then three into defending compared to 12 on the last build. So depending on your play style, it's depending on how you want to actually play with these players. If you do spin from, I think they are worth it. We'll be back with the Atletico Madrid pack very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Peace.